recording now and how we can use Cubase to decode a mid-side pair of microphones without having to go to the expense of buying a dedicated mid-side encoder decoder. What we've got here are a couple of tracks from a recent mobile recording of a large male voice choir, the Gentleman Songsters of Dudley, based in Birmingham here in the UK. Uh, we've got an ADK cardioid and coincidentally and at right angles to it an ADK set at figure of eight. The mics were mounted as coincidentally as possible and about 15 foot back from the center of the choir. Now if we play these back there's no sense of stereo at all these are just two mono tracks. Let's just have a quick listen to these. Up with the joy of your boys and up we go to see there's heaps of fun with the joy of Okay, you can hear it's a big male voice choir, but there's no sense of stereo there. And that's what you'd expect. These are just two channels panned in the center. It's mono. All right, so this is how we go about it using Cubase. It makes it very simple for us. If you right click on the figure eight track and press duplicate track, Cubase creates for you an absolute in-phase duplicate. But even if we played these back, we're, we're still not getting the stereo. The secret lies in the mixer page, and here it is. If we open the track mixer, and we pan one of our figure eights hard left, and the other one hard right, and now, and crucially, put one of them out of phase with a little phase button there, then you start to hear the magic of mid-side. What I'm going to do is just link these two channels together so that they work on one fader. And have a listen now as I bring in this pair of figure eight mics. Up with the shoulder of your boys and bring it to the breeze. It gone and cut the swell in trip for a treasure ship to see. Oh, 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 oh. It's up to see we go for a ship from Spain. I think you can all hear that that's pretty effective. That's a great stereo. And the joy of mid-side is you can add as much or as little of this side information as you want. Now, obviously, with a big male voice choir, you can put a lot of side information in because you want a big, big sound. And made them pay their but believe me, it works fantastically on a solo singer. The next time you're doing something in the studio and you've just got a solo voice, put, put another mic up, put a figure eight up and do a mid-side recording and just add a little bit of that side information using the technique I've shown you here and you'll be amazed. It's, it gives an extra special presence to the vocal without having to add a reverb or a delay or anything like that. Give it a go. You need a figure of eight mic, and a cardioid, but you can use an Omni as well. Try that out. And it's really easy to decode using Cubase.